Hello and welcome to episode number 9 of our 2.11 Black Sun campaign. In the last episode, we have finally decided to switch off of King Caesar and that we are now taking into IG-88. We have only reached Tech 1 and it is still building, so we are going to be a while before we can start using all of ig 88 ships and ground units, but I'm very excited for when that is ready to go. On Naboo, we currently have our major fleet, as Malastare has been taken by the rebels, and it was a very large fleet. Now, it looks like they have separated some of the fleets. They used to have more ships and a lot more fighters, but I believe that we can take this on, and it's going to be the biggest battle of the campaign so far. So let's go ahead and get... I'm going to have a CR-95 be the fleet leader, and I think that we're ready to go. So here we are with the biggest battle so far of this campaign. One thing that I will mention is, off camera, I was just kind of messing around to see if I could corrupt Malastare and see if I can have mercenaries join us in this battle, which would be a really, really beneficial thing. But we couldn't get mercenaries on this planet, so I decided that we're just going to attack it, make sure that we get here before the space station is built. That way we have a much more advantageous battle because that should make them come to us as well as they won't have the additional ships from the space station. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty tough battle. They do have a lot of ground forces, which would be nice if we could manage to kill all of them, but being completely honest, it's not at all a top priority for me. So I think what we're going to do in this battle is we're going to kind of have a similar ship layout of what I've been doing recently. So we're going to have one Magnator, we're going to have this Venator come in, probably about right there. You can go and back up, actually. And then we're going to have this other Venator come in right here. Let's do a Corona in the middle. What do Eddie light cruisers? They have light stun ion cannons and light laser cannons. Okay, that's not bad. We're going to have an Eddie light cruiser. So these guys are screeners and hunters. I would say they're more screeners. Because the light laser cannons aren't going to do a ton against gunships. Let's get one mine layer. And then what else do I want to bring in? We're probably going to have to bring in a lot of my elite fighters, which I've just built up, which I'm very excited to use. And then I'm going to, I'm going to save the rest. We also have a Geonosian Mercenary, which is pretty cool. Okay, your job is to take on this GR, or this MC-75, <laughs> GR-75, nice. Okay, he's got those heavy assault missiles, but just like I was talking in the last episode, here's perfect proof of the Magnator will turn its ship so that it has the broadside firing at one of these ships, which I'm okay with. We'll go ahead and let him do that. I think for now, we can pretty much just kind of have my units sit where they're at. And they should be fine for now. Go ahead and back up just a little bit for me. I don't, I'm not concerned at all of my Magnator dying. I don't think it has any risk of it being taken out in this battle. As long as we don't let them, their fighters group up and take me out, we should be okay. Go ahead and target this and boost your firepower against it. We can send in the bombers over there as well. Amshak, go ahead and help out by taking on the whole of this thing as well. You can boost your firepower. UT Wing, go ahead and take this thing out. You should be alright. Cloak Shapes, help out. I would like the engines of this thing to be destroyed. That would help out as well. Okay, here come their MC... Okay, they have a lot of MC-30s. They have Z-95s as well, which I'm not too concerned about. But MC-30s, probably heavy... Corellian gunboats might be my best friend because I've already got my Longhorns in, which is probably the best unit I have against these MC-30s. So I'm thinking these Corellian heavy gunboats. Look at this fleet build right here with the Magnator in the lead. Oh my gosh, that is a freaking sexy looking fleet if you don't mind me saying. Oh wait, that's us. <laughs> I, was, I was aiming the camera as if I was the Rebels. Look at that, that MC-75 is about to get wrecked. How do we do over here? Okay, that boat cruiser's dead. Let's pause it and make sure that we're doing okay. You, go ahead and join this battle. Mine layer, Corona, just push up a little bit. These fighters help out with the fighter battle as well. 
Okay, my Magnar is taking half health. What the heck? Oh, it's the MC30s. You know what? I made a mistake bringing you in because this is the only battle you will probably ever be fragile to then. Okay, it's going to have to be time that we start pushing forward. Star Destroyers, go ahead and have you help out with the killing of this. This Longhorn needs to focus him down. Let's get both of my Kronian gunboats to help out with killing him. And then both my 80 light cruisers just push up for me. I think I might actually lose my freaking ship after I was just talking about how I don't think I'm ever going to lose the ship. Also, I lost something. I don't know what it was. Let's get some elite fighters coming in. Let's get one assault fighter and then just another assault fighter. Yeah, that should be good. Those two assault fighters should be enough to help me win the remainder of the fighter battle that we haven't currently already won. Can he snipe that out? No? Dang. Alright, cloak shapes, come over here and make sure that that thing dies. This longhorn needs to push up and do something with his life. Okay, how are y'all doing? I feel like y'all are actually going to be my best friend because there's missiles. Oh, no, they're missing a lot of those missile shots. They're missing all of them, it looks like, too. Boost your firepower all you can. Can you just target this? Boost your firepower. Boost your firepower. If we can kill that MC-75, it might help out. No, wow. Holy moly, we just lost one of our best ships. And I did not see that coming. Okay, that's okay. It's not okay. <laughs> Let's get some reinforcements over here so that we can annihilate this thing. And then I'm going to bring in something weird. We're going to bring in a refit acclimator just because I feel like we need general firepower at this point. I've got everything that I can have that's going to kill these guys off, but now they just got to do the job and kill them. Boost your firepower. These things are low-key kind of tanky. Even with all that firepower, they were still not dying. Okay, how did my elite fighters do? It looks like we might have lost one of them. Oh no, there it is right there. Both of y'all, go after those T-Wings. T-Wings help out. Yeah, so wow. I, I did not think that we are going to lose a Magnator like that. That's crazy. I think it's time we bring in the Geonosian Mercenary. He's actually going to be pretty good in this battle for killing off the rest of these MC-30s. Let me get my two Venators and my Acclimators. Go ahead and start hitting what's left of that capital ship. All my Corellian gunboats. Target this guy in the back. These two Longhorns. Finish that guy off. Amshak, just shoot up the hole of this thing as well. Geonosian Mercenary, you can hit this guy as well. They do have boost engine power, which is an okay ability. Not sure if that's an ideal ability for him to have. Eddie Light Cruisers, jump up and see if you can hit this DP-20. Dang, we lost that Venator as well. Oh my gosh. Taking some massive casualties in this battle. I guess just bring in some Amshacks in the back just to have them do some damage or something. Holy crap, what is doing so much damage to us? Fighters, take out the rest of that DP-20. There goes the other MC-30. You know what it is? Part of what it is, is... Think about how much of the technologies the enemy AI has been building. That's all we've been talking about. It's like, it seems like the AI has kind of been slow so far in this campaign. Well, here's one of the biggest battles that we've had. But it's because of the technologies... We have Magnators, and we have currently gunboats, and all these high-tech units, but so does the enemy. They've got DP-20s, they've got MC-30s, they've got really powerful stuff as well. We've got to be very careful. Can we kill him before he leaves? Yes, sir. No way one of those MC-30s got away. So a very, very costly battle. Only five things were lost. You know what's really funny is, I always lose a ton of support vessels. In this battle, I didn't lose any support vessels, but I lost two capital ships. But they had the exact capital ship killer. But I mean, I brought in what it felt like a decent amount of support units. I made sure to bring in the Venators that had the fighters. 
which I probably should have remembered that they didn't really have a ton of fighters. So we should have just brought in more M MC-30 killers. I think that was the biggest weakness, is we needed some more Longhorns. But there it is. That was the biggest battle so far in this campaign. And boy, was it felt. Now for some profit. Okay, now we got to recover. Let's get some more Longhorns. We've got the money for it. Let's do it. I wouldn't mind a couple of those. Rothana, did you get your... Oh, you did. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let me get a Venator to replace the one that we lost, which is good because if we didn't lose one that is required of King Caesar, which we no longer have. Let me get a couple more of you guys. What do we have here? Nothing useful. That's why I didn't want to do there. Let's go sell this one and see what we got. Um, we need one more Black Sun presence. Let's just do it there. Why not? Ground forces we can move up before they build something on Malastare. And I guess we just continue on with our push to Dakar. Dakar. What we got? Renaiss or Recon Renaissance. Item 2. I actually don't know where that is on this current map. I would assume... No, I don't have any f stealth units anymore. Let me get a stealth unit real quick. I guess you can do it. Where's item two? It should be over here somewhere. Uh oh, I'm maybe thinking of something else. Where's item two at? All right, so here is the long search for item two. It should be that the mission pops up because of the new update. They have those little mission icons. But I'm trying to think of where item two is. There it is. Okay. Hate to do this to you, buddy, but Bib. You ain't been very useful for me. Pretty soon here we're going to start stealing technologies. So I will need him. But right now I don't need him, so see you later. Alright, what we got? Let's go ahead and try and steal some stuff from Azimine Station. Let's do the ground battle of Malastare real quick. We might just auto-resolve this battle. Ooh. Yeah, we're just going to auto-resolve. We've done so many Malastare battles. I probably shouldn't have auto-resolved that. <laughs> Y'all are probably going to be upset because there was a lot of good stuff that we could have taken on. But we've done like three Battle of Malastares already, so I didn't want to do any more. Apologies, I shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Can't take it back now. Uh-oh, they're attacking me on Malastare again. Looks like a bunch of ground forces. It is. I'm going to edit this out, but we're going to try and take these guys on. Okay, so I should have just auto-resolved. They retreated before we even got in range. So we have regained Malastare, which is good. That's like the third time we've captured it. Let's go and build a space station on that planet. And push our ground for or our space forces over to Dakar. Which we do need a fleet lead. Let's put another 95 up there. And push them over to Dakar. Ooh, our technology's got built. Okay, let's take a ground. Let's take a look real quick. What do we have? Salvage unit cancelled. Interesting. So if we take a look, we have unlocked these guys. We've got the core ship IG brain which build options are IG-8, B, C, and D, which we might need to build this in order to have... Well, that says it requires B, which we have, okay. Core ships were used during the Clone Wars to transport armies of CIS droids and goods. They could detach from the outer ring of the Looser Holt to land on planets. Some are still in service and hidden on old CIS strongholds. It looks like it's just a fighter carrier. Um... Class. It's a support station. Oh, it's a station. My bad. So weekly upkeep, 90 credits. Additional population. Build limit of only one. Space building construction time. Okay. We also have the ability to do Tech C, which I'm okay with putting it there. That's a good spot. I think we were currently building... Oh, no, that's where they used to be. I don't remember where I was building this thing. Not a big deal. Let us... Okay, we need to have droid factories somewhere. And Ryloth is where we're going to put it. So we're going to have one go on Ryloth. And it looks like you can only build one, which is fine. So we're going to have the Black Sun Outpost go there. So it's going to be a little bit before that gets finished building. On Christophsis, we can not build anything else. That's good. In the space side of things, it doesn't look like we have anything except Geonosian mercenaries on non-ship refitter worlds. On ship refitter worlds, it does not look like we have 
anything either. On ship trader builds, it does not look like we have anything either. So I wonder if maybe we need this. Build options, aggressor starfighter. Aggressor starfighter. Okay, let's put it on. Let's go ahead and have that going now, Hada. Over here, let's go ahead and build this droid brain. And then we'll see what that does. It might give us more options to build something. I'm not sure yet. In the meantime, we are going to have IG-88 Tech 2, technically, on its way to be built. Where are you at? Are you actually? You're over here. Okay. I wonder if he still has those upgradable abilities. I'm not sure how that works exactly. Somebody type a comment if you know how to upgrade IG-88, because I believe that's something that you can actually do. Okay, here we go with the space battle of Dakar. Dakar was a verdant or a verdant planet located in the system on the edge of the galaxy's mid rim and outer rim territories, relatively close to Naboo and Crait, an obscure world far from the main space lanes. The remote Dakar was surrounded by a, wi uh, a wide planetary ring that cast a shadow on its forested surface. The lush jungle covered terrain did not host any intelligent life. Sounds like Florida. Those <laughs> the, the creatures, such as birds and insects, called the huge trees and fast-growing roots of the jungle home, as did the carnivorous plant known as the creeper vine. Interesting. Also randomly decided to roast Florida. Uh, let's go this way. You know, it's really funny. We have IG-88, but it's still not going to be like till probably the beginning or midway through the next episode before we have anything built for IG-88. Because I could just sit on the galaxy map and wait for the technology to build and for the troops to build, but that's just a waste of time and I don't want to do that. Besides, they're going to start attacking the crap out of us. We've destroyed a massive fleet of the rebels outside of Malastare and because the biggest reason why I feel like the rebels especially haven't attacked us because the empires attacked us a little bit, especially on the random worlds, which we continue to lose more of. I think the reason why the rebels haven't attacked us is because the majority of the rebel worlds are currently held above Seleucami, which is also where... I think they have an ion cannon on this planet, if I remember from the last episode. But Seleucami is also where I have a level 3 space station, a level 2 sky dagger, two ship refrigerators, and a large defensive force sitting on top of it, so I'm not too worried about them attacking. I'm not too worried about them attacking um, Seleucami, which is, like I said, the majority of where the rebels are hel holding. What is that? It's just a rock. Oh, there they are. They have the Minox, yeah. Pretty sick. Okay, they had a lot of long-range firepower just hit us. Did y'all see that? That was crazy. Looks like they had a lot of fighters. Let's go ahead and have a bunch of eddy cruisers come in, and then we'll have a bunch of these fighters. Let's take a look at these, because we've got a lot of them. They have two concussion missiles, which is really good, a medium repeating dual laser, which is pretty solid, and then two times two burst cluster rockets. Um, these fighters are known for their modularity and unusual name. They are widely used by pirates and bounty hunters, or at least those that can afford them. These fighters are very capable interceptors with a good mix of anti-fighter weapons, making them effective at intercepting almost any craft. Pretty good. Yeah, I wonder how good those burst cluster rockets are. That, that could be this thing's best weapons. You go ahead and stop, and you go ahead and stop as well. Let, let, let the um, acclimators go ahead, or the venators go ahead. Yeah, it might be... Let's go and actually bring you in. Probably aiming at the Venator, right? The Ion Cannon that we just heard? Here are the other fighters right here. Let's take a look at these guys. The um, Rizirak... <laughs> that's definitely not how you pronounce that. That was horrible. That was just terrible. Assault Fighter Squadrons. They're actually labeled as bombers. They are heavily armed, heavily armored, and impossible to spell. 
Amen and pronounced, don't forget that developers, <laughs> are designed to inflict as much damage as possible against the enemy frigates and cruisers without sacrificing armor protection. They are, however, rather slow, making them unable to evade strong counters. Look at that. 50 hull is insane for a fighter. 20 shields as well. They also have good max range. They have three heavy lasers, which is good for killing heavy fighters or gunships or bombers. Two heavy assault missiles, which is insane to have on a fighter squadron. And then two burst rockets as well. So I assume these are supposed to be used as bombers. If I had to put some money on it, I guess they're bombers because of the assault missiles. They also have the defensive formation ability, which is pretty good. Um, you keep pushing forward. You can kind of push forward a little bit as well. Let me get both of you guys to push up. You can push up as well. Get the bombers. Go ahead and make the bombers group three. I'm not sure what I want the bombers to do. Go over there for me. Alright, that should be close enough. Go ahead and just... Start first. Target the Dreadnought. Because I have a hard time killing them. You two push forward. You can definitely push forward. You guys are going to be my group 1, group 1 go crazy. Longhorns, how the heck are y'all facing backwards? Light cruisers, push forward. I really like the light cruisers or weapon systems. Two light stun ion cannons and two or seven light laser cannons. That should make them perfect for killing fighters if I'm not mistaken. They've got like the light laser cannons and the ion cannons to slow them down. Should make them perfect for killing fighters, but we'll see. Group 3, go ahead and target the shield generators. I want to see just how effective those bombers can be, or if they're actually not going to be that effective, which is definitely a possibility. Man, it is, and it's lost its shields. I mean, they have an ion cannon in this battle, but still, this Magnator Battlecruiser is not impressing me at all. Holy crap did they destroy that. Is that the burst assault missiles right there? Maybe I'm misreading those and that's not... Oh, it's burst... No, I don't know. Now I'm just confusing myself. <laughs> um, We're not doing very good in this battle so far. Can I get one of you to come kill this X-Wing? Okay, where'd that... How is he alive? Okay, he's taking a lot of damage though. Go shoot the hole. This... Let me get some... Currently gunboats. I still need more longhorns. I'm building five more. I'm probably honestly going to build five more than those original five. Yeah, go for the generator. Give me both my acclimators. Jeez, I already lost that one. Go ahead and target this guy. Minotaur, you can switch over and target this guy as well because he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Okay, perfect. Um, give me a couple more killing gunboats and some more fighters. I need my anti-fighter ships to move in a more better position. You three get up here. Crap, that's not what I was trying to do. All y'all get up here. Then you three. You three go ahead and target these show generators on that ship. Good kill, whatever that was. Should've been, should been you with your long-range weapons. Crap, okay, group three is losing their lives. Looks like group three actually managed to kill off that Marauder, which is pretty impressive. I'm gonna try and get group three out of there, but it doesn't look like they want to retreat, even though I told them to, which is not ideal. Okay, you three. Target the holes. Wow, what is your weapon system? Those missiles. Heavy barrage rockets, which is the same bombers that these guys have. Looks like those are probably better off used against capital ships, I guess. I'll send them up towards there. I'm going to lose that longhorn. For sure, for sure, I'm going to lose that longhorn. Go ahead and just target this. Boost your firepower. When of my group three made it out, I'm just gonna leave them alive way in the back. 
I did lose that Longhorn right before that Twin Blade died, which is sad. How are y'all doing? Y'all's missiles are still missing some of the time, but not all of the time, which is perfect. Okay, they just hit my Corona. Let's see if I can pull the Corona out a little bit. What do they have left that's still doing so much damage? Just one of those, and then uh, this guy. Bringing you just to help out. Okay, so we haven't even purchased this thing's shield. We're just killing it with bombers. So why not bring in more bombers? And then you can kill off this white one squad. Pretty cool. Look at the shape of those things. Just like that, the Carlene Destroyer is dead as well. Well, we did take some serious casualties. We lost two acclimators. We lost a few bomber squadrons. Nothing major. Crap. They're shooting at my bombers again. Um, we also lost some other stuff, but nothing, nothing too big. Only a couple of acclimators, really, is the biggest loss. How many troops is alive? Just one? Alright. Speed this battle up. <laughs> the cinematic camera just does not like sped up mode. Man, those bombers are not very good anti-fire units. <laughs> those things got destroyed. So after seeing this battle, Here's my, my review over King Caesars. Any light cruisers I'm a fan of. The Magnator Battle Cruiser I'm not a super big fan of. I think it still performs its role pretty well of being a tank and being able to dish out a little bit of damage, but it's mostly for that tank role. Um, the refit acclimators, they just die so easily, so they're not really ideal. The these fighters right here, the assault fighters, are pretty good. These bombers are also very good, but the survivability doesn't seem to be very good, which tells me that I'd rather have the other fighters. If you know which ones I'm talking about, I'm talking about the ones that I've built over Seleucami. Um, those ones are really, really good. Also, I just lost some more of these fighters. They have offensive formation, which is a good ability to have. Um, how are we doing over here? I was distracted. Let's get group one to push up here. Magnator, just hit the space station. You hit the space station. You hit the space station. Boost your firepower. The faster you kill the space station, the faster I can send in reinforcements. But it looks like we might not get that fast enough. No, wow, look at those Y wings. That's how. That's what I mean by the long, the uh, Longhorns are really fragile. Even Y wings protons were able to hit them. Hit it and kill it. Which just kind of shows, like, the Longhorns are so fragile. They're absolutely necessary because they're so freaking good. Damage-wise, but they're just glass cannons. But look at that combination. With the flak weaponry and the ion cannons and then light laser cannons. A solid combination right there. Did you lose your main guns? Why are your main... Oh, there they are. Perfect, just in time to do nothing. And there goes my Corona. The Ion Cannon destroyed my Corona, which is sad, but it happens. Ion Cannons are very strong. As well, they got these Flak Laser Cannons. Man, that Magnator is so slow, too. Jeez, get up here. Oh, it's Ion Cannon. That's what it was. Yeah, I bet it was Ion Cannon. Slowly but surely, sometime today. Speed it up. Yay. Why they don't want to retreat? Nope, we can bring in some reinforcements. Or not. Amshack party, baby. Oh, that ion cannon is available again. Yeah. 
getting good because I stopped losing units. Jeez, I lost all of those fighters. Another rough battle, which it really shouldn't have been. But I guess the Ion Cannon kind of helped out. But I just feel like I lost more fighters than I should have. I mean, those were elite fighters, and they just didn't survive the way I want them to. But I guess we're facing... I guess when we're facing against the Rebels, maybe I should have a little bit more mercy, mercy towards them. Okay, another battle we don't care about. Or Montel. We're almost out of planets over here. We have one down here. We have three left up here. We only have one left over here because we also lost all of our planets up here, which is very sad. But here's Salukamai, which I was talking about. Look how many... And these are the bombers I was also referring to. They're very, very good. They're so slow. But look at that health. 160 heavy fighter armor with 80 shields. Absolutely nuts. Which I guess... I guess it's time that we bring these guys down here. Have them join up with the fleet. I'm going to build one, two battle cruisers here. And then these troops over the Maw, which is our other set of reinforcements. From what's left of King Caesar's being built, we can have them come over here as well. Alright, so our space station got built over here. I don't... Yeah, we still have this providing a buffer, which is good. So I don't have to worry about necessarily building a level 2 station there. Over here, let's get some N1 Starfighters. And then, where was it that I built that station at? should have been here. 77% on the way down here. We have 3 minutes and 45 seconds left right there. All of our pikes have arrived as well. Look at that. Obadiah is actually now having money stolen from there. Also, Christopsis, let me get one more view. Where is it that I can build? Yeah, I need five of these guys. What we got, mission-wise? Reconnaissance, Iridonia. Not super sure where Iridonia is. I forget. Iridonia is up here, I believe. It was previously... A black sun planet and it's no longer a black sun planet. Iridonia, there it is. I was like, I know it's a black sun planet because I was recording a video and it was getting co attacked constantly. I think it's actually previously a rebel planet because I was playing as the rebels. But nonetheless, I was playing on a completely different campaign as well, so... I have literally no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, wait. Ryloth. Okay, so here we go. We have the ability to build B1 battle droids and the LP... I can't see what that says. Combat ba combat droid companies. They have the sensor ping ability and it looks like they have the mine ability as well. Proximity mines, yep, right there. An antenna allows the permanent detection of nearby enemy units. That sounds amazing. Let's get four of them going. On lock, let's go ahead and have another droid factory being built here so I can produce droids at a faster rate. The reconnaissance is successful. Looks like we lost our ship guy over the mall. Let's get Bib and have Kim come back because we're going to start stealing technology soon to get more abilities. Also, big fleet being built up here on Drunken Well. Also, Drunken Well. Look at the stuff they've got built here. They have a level 2... Level 3 Golan and a hypervelocity gun. Not an outpost on the ground. They do have a shield generator, which makes the ground attack hard if I were to invade it with my main army. But a level 2 standard barracks, which only provides stormtroopers, and a standard imperial factory, this might be a raid planet. What I'm going to do is bring my raid troops down there so I can remind myself that if I want to take this, which eventually we will... I need to raid this planet. How are we doing? Okay, we got the ground battle of Dakar. Let's do it. Ground battle of Dakar. Should be a pretty difficult battle since they have a level 3 alliance base there. Let's take it slow with some ATTEs and then our infantry one final time before we bolster our ground forces with new units. 
Okay, let's see. Their main force is up here. Looks like they have some side guys over here. I was very close to saying side chicks for some reason. The local humans are allied with our enemies. That sucks. That's probably where they are over there. So I believe that we're going to have some Trandosians. Some Kalish warriors. Excuse me, some Kalish warriors. Some of these guys. Probably some ATAPs in the back. Infantry start pushing forward. ATTE. Do me a favor and just kind of sit right here for now. What do we have over here? Oh, a mercenary base. That is not bad. Trandosians, come over here for me. Activate that ability. Wow, look at all the crap they have. Um, You guys are close enough. Go ahead and sit still for me. We need some more tanks. Some more walkers. I think ATTEs might be my best friend on this left side. Maybe we'll bring in an ATAP spot squad right here. I wouldn't be surprised if one of those gets trapped in those trees when it drops down. Which isn't ideal, but it's probably what's going to happen, sadly. Alright, the rest of you take cover. One of you guys activate your ability so we can get some boosted firepower. I need to target this guy. I know the Seraph is anti-infantry, but so is this guy as well. ATCE, how you doing? Anti-vehicle, anti-infantry. Go for the vehicle for one first. Let's get some skips in here. One of you go like that. And the other one go like that. You come around. I guess you're going to have to come around too because you're not even in range. I was hoping it would be in range of something right there. ATTE push up this way. What do we have coming in over here? Let's get some mercenaries. Some Mandalorian mercenaries. Let's get some more skips coming in. These guys, you need to push forward. This is a good, good battle so far. We're not doing too bad. I just need some more... Yeah, my vehicles to push forward. Keep pushing forward. You keep pushing forward. Some of you fighters push up just a little bit so we can get our main fighter line down here. Let me get one of you guys to come over here. So we can capture this. Yeah, like it, that's exactly what I said. He's going to get stuck right here, which isn't the end of the world. But we did get the mercenaries, the Mandalorian mercenaries, which is perfect. Okay, we're going to avoid that right side altogether. I think that definitely makes a lot of sense. Okay, do I have a rocket skiff anywhere? Yes, hit your ability. Go crazy. Look at the brace for impact on this T3B. Holy rocket skiff. With the T3B and the Brace for Impact ability, that rocket skiff, point blank, didn't miss a shot and just annihilated that thing. Ah, oh, shoot. This thing is hitting it. That's not ideal. Let me get some AATs. Should do that. Push forward so you can kill these infantry units. Okay, our infantry did really good in this battle. They survived, which is what I really needed them to do. Probably shouldn't have brought these AATs in. I believe we've won the battle for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've won, like, the tough part of the battle. Now we just gotta finish it off. Y'all better get used to those droids talking. <laughs> We're about to have so many V1s coming in here. Hey, we talked about this before. If my, if my PC can handle it, you better believe it's about to be a, a droid party up in this this hoe. Right away, sir. They're actually shooting this thing. Check that out. It's funny. They have one infantry unit way back there, which I'm not too concerned about. Let's get some fighters up in here. That flak thing should get killed eventually. Ah, shoot. Me, 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 me. Okay, you guys just sit here for a second. Um, I need to bring in some speeder tanks to help out. And it looks like we might eventually have to kill this bunker turret, which stinks. Which is probably a job for you. <laughs> you get the ground, I'll cover the air. All of you guys, go target that for me. I had told them to attack 
in front of them. That's why they were going in all sorts of different directions. When you activate that, that ability, they turn into zombies. If they see an enemy, they have to kill it. <laughs> Which is slightly useful, but not what I was looking for. I think these fighters are good enough to where they don't even get hit. Yeah, they're not even going to get hit by this bunker turret, so we'll just bring in some more. Safely and strategically take out that bunker turret without us taking any casualties. I think some more AATs is good. It's exactly what I need. Something that has rotating abilities, hover abilities. Hey, whatever happened to that Trendosian unit? I don't know. Probably one of these guys. Come over here and kill off these guys. Or I can just bring in some more Trendosians right there. That'll do it. Okay, how do we do over here? Almost dead. Oh, looks like I might have lost one. I'm not sure. No. Might have been over here. Yeah, looks like I lost one of my fighters, which is weird because I'm not sure what it would have hit it. Unless that bunker turret just kind of looked up and sniped my guy. But even still, to one-shot it, it's pretty crazy. What the heck stunned it? <laughs> Stupid tauntauns. Every time. Those level 3 alliance spaces come with so much stuff. Elite infantry, Seraph speeders, which is always good to have. T3B, which is... Which was doing really, really good when it comes to surviving until all of a sudden my rocket skiff out of nowhere just still dealt so much damage. Fire incendiary rocket is another ability it looks like it have. Yeah, I don't have that unlocked quite yet. A lot of abilities that we have the ability to get and we will get eventually. But not quite yet. So we lost some more of our infantry. But that was a tough battle. They also had some extra infantry as well. Alright. Go ahead and make that into a credit world as always. You can kill off that hero. Ooh, I really, really want to see crates. The ground battle crate. That should be a really good battle. I heard the ground map on this planet is fantastic. And look at that. They even have... Turbo lasers. That would be a really good battle to showcase some B1 battle droids. Just to swarm it with B1 battle droids with the turbo lasers. That's pretty funny. Ooh, we do have the pikes. That could be useful. Could be a good battle to bring the pikes. That might be what we do. The rest of our space forces have joined, so we're going to have them go over to Kahar. I'm not going to be using those bombers in this fight, but I'm very curious to see what those bombers have to offer us. Got some M1s being built. Oh, we also have the ability to build these guys, which could be useful. We'll definitely bring them in. As well as, oh no, they only have a building of five on the M1 Starfighters? They do. Wow, they must feel like those are really strong. I mean, they are strong, but they're supposed to be strong. But I guess that makes sense not to have too many of them running around. This'll be fun. Build some more Longhorns. You know what we also need to build, which we don't have very many left of, is Coronas. We are out of, I think we're out of, ooh, here we go. We also have the ability to build hard cell transports as well as Munificent. So it looks like maybe... It was delayed for when I saw these units. So we've got Munificence, which are fantastic. They are long-ranged units, artillery units. They have a tactical population of 12, which is four more. So three Amshacks versus two Munificence. You have two light, two burst, long-range turbo lasers versus one heavy, two burst, long-range turbo laser one medium, two burst, long range turbo ion cannon, six light, two burst, long range turbo lasers. So yeah, if you're gonna have three aim shacks, it's not as good as two munificence, which is what we wanna see. We also have the ability to build captor carriers, which are fantastic carriers. They're not the best, 
but we don't really have a true dedicated carrier yet. On Rothana, let's go ahead and get some munificence going, and let's take a look at these hard cell transports as well. They have three light laser or three laser cannons, two repeating point defense lasers, and one heavy concussion missile. So very similar to heavy curling gunboats almost, but I guess not. I'm going to do something weird. We're going to check out the guide weapons. Heavy Carillion. Oh, that's, that's ground weapons. Heavy concussion missile. Debuff the defense of hit fighters, bombers, transports, and corvettes by 40% for 15 seconds, which is a long time. So they're going to be good for killing corvettes and fighters and bombers, but I wonder how accurate those heavy concussion missiles are to fighters and bombers. This thing, oh, this is what this is useful for. It has the deploy, whoops, not that, the deploy repair droids ability. Look at that ability down there. The deploy repair droids is a fantastic ability for repairing your ships, which is why we need to have these built. So once those munificence built, we'll probably go ahead and start getting a whole bunch of them. Doesn't look like I can build them anywhere else. Okay, what do we have in terms of ship trader? We don't have anything on the ship trader. Um, okay, this is what I was referring to in the earlier in the episode. So IG-88 can actually be upgraded or you can buy basically, I'm not sure how this works, but you can buy him which IG-88B is a copy of IG-88. Similar to the original, he fights on ground himself, but in space, IG-88B commands a captor carrier with only droids as crew and his personal guards on board. His ship is also used as a mobile research station to develop better droid programming. Let's definitely go ahead and build him. And then I guess we're just going to have this sitting here. I don't really know what it does, but we'll just have it sitting there. And we're a minute 40 away from there. Let's go do the Battle of Crate. Space Battle of Crate. We'll be ready to deploy upon arrival. And then we'll do the Ground Battle of Crate right after. Morning. Holy moly. Look at that battle. The Rebels must be... Yeah, they, oh my gosh, dude. The Rebels are facing the Empire right now. 15 units lost. Hey, make fun of how bad I am at this game and how much... I'm not bad at the game, I just tend to lose a lot of troops easily. Um, but dang, look at the rebels fighting the Empire, they just lost 15 things. Still got that trusty CR-95 in front. Probably gonna have to replace replace it soon. Oh, and I got six more. <laughs> Perfect. I don't even know what I would replace it with, so maybe T-Wings, I'd probably build up some more T-Wings. This should be a pretty easy battle. A lot of asteroids here on crates. I wonder if that has anything to do with the planet. Did not mean to press that. Something just entered the system from hyperspace. Be careful and watch out for strange readings. Oh, that's that little galaxy station. We also have bought these guys the light freighter squadrons for the first time. They have the ability to de deploy mass driver turrets. That's pretty cool. Time for a trip, boys. Uh, we're mostly looking for damage outputs. So we'll probably just bring in them. And then a whole bunch of Longhorns to support. You guys can start pushing forward. I really don't want you to die. Go ahead and circle back around. They do have a Dreadnought. How do we kill a Dreadnought? Oh, yep, there they go. The Purgles. The Purgle Ultra. The massive. Look at that. 10,000 armor. Jeez. Reporting for duty. Moving. Um, they got some serious fighters and small units. Maybe we... Oh, I lost one of my currently gunboats. Seriously? I want a flanking unit. And you know what we were talking about? I forget who it was. It might have been TJ or somebody. We were talking about Recusants and how good Recusants can be. I don't like Recusants a ton because of how fragile they are, but they are fantastic, fantastic units for flanking. 
especially refit Regizons, which is what I tend to think of when I'm talking about Regizons. They have a, a lot of close range weapons, which makes them fantastic for flanking the enemy. We got the first battle that we can use M1 Starfighters, so let's go ahead and have them showcase their abilities. So you're starting to see what I talk about a decent amount in this campaign so far. I like to have diversity in my battles. So once I build a new unit, I want to see how they do. Gotta see how they do. Oh, there's those mass driver turrets. Look at that. Those things are going nuts. Um, Try to get close to killing this CR-90. I need some more stuff to kill these fighters off. Let me get a couple of Eddie Light Cruisers. I have a decent amount of those. Can you guys just spread out? Yes, Go for different units. That's mostly what I want y'all to do. You just guys, you guys just generally push forward. I believe I have both my recusants, excuse me, my Venators going towards the space station. If we can kill that space station, as always, I can bring my units in right on top of the enemy, which is what I want to do. Also, what the heck are my Longhorns doing? I feel like we've asked that question a lot in this campaign. <laughs> they just like to rush forward for some reason. But with that damage output, you're starting to see why I like to build them and how useful they are. But I mean, I don't know. Three of them with their ability activated, they should be doing this amount of damage. With all due respect. Who the heck just snapchatted me? Um, doing some good damage, but look how fragile they are. Go kill that. We lost two Longhorns. That space station is now destroyed. Which means we can bring in a Shireem. We can bring in a Refit Acclimator. And I guess that's it. Jeez. So I'm going to get maybe another anti-fighter unit. Immediately start firing and boost your firepower as well. Holy cow. I was hoping... I literally purposely sent these... Well, not you. But you and you to kill this guy. And it looks like they might actually be losing that battle. Get some extra M1s to come over here and help. Now they should definitely win that battle. Because they also have an Eddie Light Cruiser sitting right here. Alright, we managed to mop up the rest of this battle. Alright, every unit in the game. Target this thing. Boost your firepower. I think it's going to get away. I don't even know if it was free or not. I don't, yeah, they didn't have any free units, so we should be okay. Um, so the space battle of Crete was a success. We didn't really lose that much. I think all my M1 starfighters managed to live, which is something that we talked about in the last episode. Speed of a unit is really important, of a fighter especially. That adds to their survivability a lot, and I think that's why they survived well. We did, we did lose one of my Eddie Light Cruisers, which is kind of sad. But with that, we are going to end this episode here. We are starting to see the beginning of IG-88, which is very fun. In the next episode, we should be finishing up the remainder of IG-88's Tech 2 and starting Tech 3, as well as we're going to have one of the cooler new ground maps of Crate, which I'm very, very excited to see. So stay tuned for that.